guys, it's Marvie. Thanks so much for checking back into my channel today. I'm coming to you guys with a July favorites video. If you guys remember last month's favorites video, I talked about my skin and how it was breaking out left and right and what I was having to do to treat my skin. Well, I decided to try something totally different in the month of July and just give my skin a break from the normal products that I use to cleanse my face in hopes of maybe trying something new would help improve my skin. And so what I decided to do is pull out something from my stash and try it. And so what I pulled out was this Lancome Cream Radiance Clarifying Cream to Foam Cleanser for Normal Slash Combination Skin. And guys, let me tell you, this product helped my skin the most. Only after a few days could I start to notice how my skin had calmed down so drastically. It was softer. It was uh, clearing up a lot more. I wasn't dealing with uh, breakouts anymore. And I could just feel how soft and um, just clear my skin was feeling. So I was very, very pleased with using this product. And generally, this product is something that you would get as a uh, gift with purchase. I know all the ones that I have, and I have probably about four of these in my stash because I get them as a gift with purchase, and I just never used it. So this one, I'm so glad that I picked it up and used it. So I will be using this uh, product to give my skin a break from the uh, normal products that I use. And because I was having such a positive experience with using that new cleanser, I decided to pull out this bio oil. This was also in my stash. I had purchased this before for lightening up a, um, a scar that was on my son, and so I just had the remainder of it. And so what I decided to do was use this on my face just to lighten up any of the uh, hyperpigmentation that was on my face as a result of having all of those breakouts because whenever I, whenever I have a breakout, 99% of the time, it is going to leave some type of a scar. So this product has been really great in helping to fade away those scars. Uh, over the last month, I could definitely tell the difference in this using this product and how my scars have definitely started to dull down, if that makes sense. So I will continue to use these two products and I will report back with you guys to kind of keep you up to date in if this product continues to work for me. Let's go on to hair care. If you guys remember also in my last favorites video, I talked a lot about the Camille Rose Natural products and how I was loving that line. Well, nothing's changed with that, but what I did decide to do was go out and see what else I could get from that line and see if I liked it as well. And so what I ended up picking up was this Camille Rose Naturals uh, Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. And I am so glad that I picked this up because just the change in using a different leave-in in my hair, it left my hair so soft and it, I think it even promotes that on here. It does. It says concentrated leave-in treatment for shiny, silky, soft hair. And those claims are true, at least for my hair. It left my hair, hair really uh, soft and shiny to use it. And it was very easy for me to comb and detangle using this product. The next product that I want to share with you guys is from Shea Moisture. It is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I picked this product up because I had seen my daughter had this before. And so I just wanted to try it. And so I picked up my own. And uh, what this says is has with silk protein and neem oil. And so what I use this for is for my twist outs. I will put this on my hair after my leave-in and my oil to seal in the moisture for my hair. And then I will use this product on my hair to twist my hair. And it leaves my hair also very, very soft. There's no crunchiness to, uh, once the product dries on my hair, it's just really soft and shiny. 
um, in a good combination with these two. So these two have served to be a favorite for me for the month of July. Now let's talk about a fragrance. I got a new fragrance last month and it is, it picks up fingerprints like no other, but it is from Cartier, uh, Eau de Cartier, and the name of it is Goutte de Rose. I don't speak French, so I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but this fragrance, I had smelled this before, and so I just remembered it and decided to go back and order it. And so this fragrance has a woody, um, amber, vanilla, those notes are in this fragrance. And so uh, I have really enjoyed using this one for the month of uh, July and it's definitely in my summer scent rotation. So if this is Eau de Cartier Goat de Rose, I'm saying that's what that is, but I'm not sure if that's, if I'm pronouncing that properly. Next, let's talk about beauty products. You guys will probably be sick of hearing me talk about this Kat Von D foundation, concealer, and eyeshadows, but I have been loving Kat Von D all month long. I, if you guys remember, I talked about before this little concealer, it is a Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer, and I am in Deep 38. And I use this to cover some of those scars for uh, hyperpigmentation that was left from the acne. So this kind of impressed me so much that I went back to pick up a sample of the foundation to see if I liked it as well. Well, I have stumbled up on a foundation that I most likely will never be without. This foundation is one that I love this foundation. So, and I am in the number Deep 74, and let me tell you what I do like about this foundation. It is a matte foundation, and but it how it dries down is more of like a velvet, a velvety finish on my skin, and it, it promotes like 24-hour wear, but I would definitely never wear it 24 hours, but I can get a solid... 12 plus hours without a budge and it still looks flawless so this foundation is one that i will definitely be repurchasing and repurchasing and so if you guys can get to a sephora to uh, get a sample of this product if matte finish foundation is something that you like definitely please get a sample of this product and see if you like it as well. And because I was on such a Kat Von D love affair, I decided to pull out my Interstellar palette. Uh, this one isn't new to my collection and I just decided to go back and pull it out. It has some really beautiful colors in here and I was able to create quite a few uh, combination of looks using this particular palette. So um, I have loved Kat Von D all month long and I'm just so impressed with that line. And the final thing that I want to share with you guys, because I have been using that found, uh, using the um, Interstellar palette and also along with the foundation, I definitely wanted to be able to have a makeup remover that was no fuss and could, I could use the product and it not you know, give me any problems. And whenever I need to take off my makeup and make sure everything is getting off my skin, this is the product that I use. And this is just a travel size and I have several of these because you, you know you get these also with gift with purchases. So I have several of these floating around uh, my makeup area. This is the Lancome by Facile Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. This is the one to use when you want to get your makeup off and completely off. You put a little bit of this on a cotton pad, put it on your eye, let it sit, you know, for a couple of seconds and, and just allow it to start to break down the makeup. And it is so easy, you know, there's no pulling, no tugging around your eyes. It doesn't irritate your eyes. 
it's just a really easy product to use. I know that there are other drugstore uh, makeup removers uh, that are out there that are, are good, but none of them are as good as uh, using this Lancome by Facil, in my opinion. So. And that is it, you guys. That's all that I have to share with you guys today. These are the products that made the cut for favorites for me for the month of July. And if you found anything that I shared here today that uh, piqued your interest, go ahead and check it out and let me know if it's something that worked for you. Come back and let me know about it. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you again.